All right, so today we'll be talking about uh, setting up templates for box designs in uh, Illustrator. So the first thing you want to do in Illustrator is actually paste in a uh, box design or a box template from the web. You do not want to open it because if you do, you will lose your color palette and my swatches here. Uh, there will be no colors. Uh, for this, it won't matter, but for future it will. Uh, I recommend starting up with a um, eight and a quarter by ten and three quarter document size. That will take into account the print area for the color laser jet. Again, that's eight and a quarter by ten and three quarters. So the first thing again you want to do is you want to paste in your template. Now, as you can see here, this is kind of rough. Um, we can't use this as is. It needs to be cleaned up. It needs to be precise. If it's not precise, it doesn't do us any good. So what I recommend doing is once you paste it in, change its opacity. If you uh, take a look at this, I have changed its opacity in the appearance panel. Okay. Here's the appearance panel. The opacity is 20%. If you don't have the appearance panel, it's up under window and down to appearance. You can also use shift F6 to pull it up. And that's not holding the F key down. It's one of the keys across the top, one of the F keys. So appearance panel, it's under window. You click on the opacity. You can change it. I set it to 20%. This is what it looked like when, it, when I brought it in. So I've set it to 20% to kind of leave it in the background and I've locked the layer so as you can tell I've already been working on this so I've locked my layer here this is just an empty layer so I'm just going to hide it alright so the first thing you need to do is you need to drag in let's take a look at this layer as you can see I've got a ton of guides let's go ahead and hide this panel we don't need it for now a ton of guides already set in now I've set them in at every line so you can see every line. And I did this so that when we use our pen tool and we click, we actually have areas that we can click in. We can click on that intersection, that intersection, that intersection, and it will give us extremely precise guides. So this is already done. Let's hide the back. So you see I've got extremely precise guidelines. And I can control the thickness of it, of course just by clicking on it, going up to my stroke and increasing or decreasing the stroke. Okay, so I've still got my lines in there. I've got my copied layer. Next thing I want to do is I want to lay in my dashes. Find my dashes. Oh, that's what I was going to do. So to lay in a dash, you just grab your line tool. Up at the top, you take a look at the different areas. Okay, you've got basic lines. You've got crazy lines. You've got all of that. What I want you to look at in your stroke panel is I want to click dash line. Okay, so I want to dash line with it. So in my... I'm going to just take and see I'm clicking on the grids and I can draw down all the way until the dash line ends. Okay. So as you can see, I've got that dash line I need to modify because my screen went a little crazy. And again, I can increase the thickness of it as needed. Okay. Zooming in will also give me a lot better precision. I want to make sure that everything's lined up on those corners. Okay, not necessarily in the center, but on the corners. So I can copy that and bring it to the front, you know, paste another one, and just drag it over. And again, I want to snap into that guide. Draw the rest of my lines. I've got a line here. I just go guide to guide. Lines here, guide to guide. OK, 
Okay. Now the dashed lines represent the fold areas. And you can see using those guides makes it a lot easier. So let me have my guides in the background. So the dashed lines, again, represent your folds. That's where you're going to score to actually do your folds. All right. Now, the next thing you're going to do is you need to line up some guides. So Because when you actually print this thing, you're not going to have these lines to go by. This is for design, and so you can get it lined up. But when you actually go to lay it out, your artwork will be inside here and all these guidelines will be all over the place. These are how you're going to trim it. So if we turn our thing back on, we can see that there, I've got the guidelines based on the corners here. But how did I get those? It was pretty simple. <coughs> I drew them. I drag a guide out from the ruler, I hit R, and I can rotate that guide, and then I can move it into position with my pointer tool. Okay, I hit R again, just rotate until I get it about the right. Okay, I can hit between R and V, V will bring my selection tool. Now I've got a line here and I can draw a tick mark up here so that it knows where to put it. So here's all my diagonal lines. You see I've hit every single diagonal and then I just drew some thin lines to represent all the cuts. Now I also should draw thin lines to represent my dash lines so that I know where to fold. Because like I said, when it's all said and done, besides your artwork, this is all that's going to be on the page. And these are your trim guides. Okay, once again, let's hide all this. Let's just use this to bring it in. You drag a guide from the ruler. Assuming you're on the right layer. Drag a guide from the ruler. Okay, you put it where you want. R allows you to rotate that guide. V allows you to select it and move it. R, rotate. <coughs> now you can see if I was just working off of this, how the rounded corners here mess it all up. That's why we created this one, because it's very precise. And again, when you're done, you should have all your tick marks. I recommend creating a layer for each, a layer for your diagonal guides, a layer for your fold guides, a layer for your outline of the box, a layer for your horizontal guides and vertical guides, and then another layer where you've actually got the original box in. So when you're done, you should have six layers on the side, and I recommend labeling them. So this is original box. Okay, your next layer is your horizontal and vertical guides. Your next layer is your box outline. Next layer is your folding guides or folding lines. Next layer is your rotated guides. And your last layer is your trim marks. And that's pretty much it. That allows you to get a nice clean box shape. That way when you print out it with your artwork, it will look beautiful.